Whoa, bet you didn't expect to see me again today, but uh, this video just went live a couple hours ago. I was scrolling through the comments, just checking it out, see what people had uh, on opinions on the cool combo that I showed at the end. Blank Pancake had something interesting here. He said he makes Verde Anaconda instead of Carrier uh, during the second combo and he's able to summon Wenda from the deck protected with Ding. That's pretty cool. Uh, at the cost of another extra deck slot, it's it's neat. This guy here was clowning on the fact that I had two ulti first Veilers, but only common Ashes. Man, I just can't catch a break. But the one that really caught my eye was this one from Rover here. He says, great video as always, my man. Have you thought about Cyber's Gadget instead of Gold Gadget? When it leaves the field, it summons a token for a free material. Well, I actually had no idea this card existed, so I was looking it up, and uh, yep, that's exactly what it does. So <laughs> back to the lab I went. Uh, I didn't feel like it was worth making a whole video out of this, so I just decided to make a quick little show of a combo. Uh, I changed the deck a little bit to be able to accommodate the Cyber Gadget combo. Uh, I cut the Union Carrier because it's going to require two more additional extra deck spots. But as you can see, Martial Metal Marcher and Borload Savage Dragon popped their way in there. This combo is going to be neat that I show you in a second. But I still think the Gold Gadget is better because I didn't have to sacrifice as much extra deck spot. I also had to find a way to fit in Jet Synchron too. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's okay. So after a quick lab sesh, I did find a cool combo. So I'm going to show you guys that right now. So the Cyber's Gadget is another brick, but we're going to assume you're just a god at the game and you open up the Wombo combo. Let me show you real quick what a pretty cool combo is with Cyber Gadget instead of gold. Combo's going to look the same as the one from the video. You know, summon the gear suit, get your token, get your dump. World one there. Put these into Plat Gat. Plat Gat effect. Summon that recycler. Recycler effect. O-Lion. O-Lion token. Take these two, Wyvern, uh, the Wyvern play, I'll show it out because maybe people didn't catch the other video. What's that your opponent had a negate? Yeah, tough. Fridge from the deck, pop this, and then you get your Cyber's Gadget. You're going to Golem back this Scrap Recycler, and then you're going to activate the Recycler effect. This time you're going to actually dump, uh, where is it? You're going to dump Nightmare. So this is still looking pretty similar. Uh, we're going to go Golem and Recycler. We're going to put those into Lib. Lib is just a really good card, so we're going to set that succession, and we're going to activate it, re-specialing out the Golem, and then specialing out the Recycler again. This time off the Recycler, instead of dumping your Symbol Skeleton, you're actually going to want to dump your Jet Synchro. All right, from here, we're going to take these three, and we're going to make an Appaloosa Bow the Goddess. That Appaloosa was made with one, two, three materials, but also uh, we get the Cyber Gadget effect, which is if it's sent from the field of the graveyard, we can special summon one Gadget token, which is a level two Cyber's Light. So we're going to get that token. We're going to special summon it here. It's a level two. Keep that in mind. From here, we're going to assume we had another card in our hand, anything, because we're going to discard it immediately to summon that Jet Synchron from the graveyard. Now we got a level two and a level three. We're going to Synchro with this. That Jet Synchron is going to be banished. We're going to make Martial Metal Marcher, and then Martial Metal Marcher's effect is going to activate. We're going to target our O-Line and resummon that from the graveyard. Now we got a level 3 and a level 5 that Scrap Golem just happens to be. So we're going to take these two, and we're going to make Borload Savage Dragon, and then Borload Savage can equip the Platinum Gadget from our graveyard. Now from here, it's going to look like the same combo again because we're going to use the uh, Orcus stuff now. We're going to Orcus Nightmare. Dump the symbol skeleton instead of that Gizmek. Rolled wand it back, put it on the field, and then we're going to make a Galatea. Galatea is going to go right here, and then uh, we would be able to get O-Line, but we're locked into darks now, so we can't get the token. Not a big deal, though. We didn't need it anyways. Galatea, we're going to put back that world wand, and we're going to set up our Babel. From there, we'll close up the combo. We'll banish this, summon this. Ding equipped the symbol skeleton, but we're just going to send the Ding gear suit to the graveyard anyways, alongside this nightmare. And we're going to make the IP finish off the combo there. Yeah, this is equally as hot as the last combo. We just end on a Savage Dragon as well, which Savage Dragon in its own is sick. Uh, this has two Boral counters, by the way. Look at this guy. What a beast. He can stop cards like evenly matched any spell or trap that would be uh, hurting us. This has a third one. What am I doing? So yeah, now on top of the monster negates with Appaloosa, we've got a spell or trap negate for anything. So it's like we had a crescendo in the back row anyways. This combo is pretty sick, but again, it requires a lot of uh, flexibility with your main deck and extra deck. You're going to have to trim out a lot of the just generically good stuff, I think. But uh, if you're feeling it, hey man, you can try it out. I don't know. I just thought this was a cool. Shout out to the guy for that comment, and I figured I'd share that with you guys.